We're going to learn how to create the selective color isolation effect in Photoshop. Before we start, I want to clarify that we're not selecting objects in this video. So we don't want the color adjustment to affect a certain object, but rather a specific color. This image, for example, which you can download using the link in the description, has the color yellow in many areas. We do have some yellow cars, but also the grass here is yellow, some trees are yellow, and there are yellow stripes here on the bus as well. We want to keep all these yellow areas and make everything else black and white. Let's do it! With the background layer activated, go to Select, Color Range. Open the Select drop-down menu and choose Sampled Colors. And let's set the Selection Preview to None. Make sure Localized Color Clusters is unchecked. Activate the Eyedropper tool and click once on a yellow car directly on the canvas. Activate the Add to Sample Eyedropper tool, the one with the plus sign, and then click and drag over different shades of yellow to add them to the selection. You can also use the minus eyedropper to remove colors. Now change the selection preview to black matte. This will show you the selected colors on a black background. You can now change the fuzziness value to adjust the fall off and improve the selection. If you click OK now, then Photoshop will create a selection around these yellow areas. But I want a selection around everything else. So click invert and then click OK. Now that the selection is ready, go to the Layers panel, click here to add an adjustment layer, and then choose black and white. This will make everything black and white, except for the selected area, which is now a layer mask. If you click to activate this layer mask, you can use a white brush to easily remove the unwanted yellow shades. And there you go. 